and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today I'm going over what you should be doing during the Easter slash Color Smash promo. As you guys know, same same thing. Just I prefer it be called Easter, but they call it Color Smash, but it really is Easter, and everything's Easter related. They even use the word Easter, but besides the point, Color Smash promo. So lots of things to be doing. There's the word scramble. There's some eggs. There's some master sets. There's some solos. There's plenty of stuff to be doing right now. So I'm gonna go over what you should be doing first. How to take advantage of the um, promo. What what you should really just attack first. There's quite a few angles to take at this. Hopefully you guys are ready for today's video. Guys, the promo is slightly delayed, so I will be doing this a different way today than I usually would because I don't know how long to be, and I got things I kind of gotta worry about. And this is not really the time for a promo to be delayed an hour or so. Like they said, it could be a minute. It could be an hour. So. I'm gonna take the ladder. We know EA. It's gonna be an hour. So, we start making this video now. Have everything ready for you guys. But hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the videos. If you guys are new to the channel, go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that only bell. Come join the family, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As of late, I appreciate all the support, even this later period of Madden. Golden tickets come out pretty soon. So, guys, we had a lot. We have a big week of content. From now until this end of this week, we got the Easter. Got some LTDs. We got golden tickets. So, I'm super excited for this whole week of Madden. Should be super fun. But, guys, get into everything. Super excited to go over everything. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video covering everything i have my opinion on what you should be doing first and how to attack this promo personally now we don't exactly know the pull rates of everything yet we don't exactly know the rewards of eggs but we have to assume that they could be worthwhile because people who didn't take advantage of things like this in the past like what presents kind of missed out so let's assume ea is going to do us right this time around and we're going to have some pretty good rewards so let's go into everything and check everything out so guys in my opinion the first thing you'd like to be doing or you should be doing is getting these solos done now as much as I like eggs and everything else, you're going to need candy to do so. So the solos do give you a first free 1,000 right there. It also gives you a free 96 overall player and then a nat 91 color smash player. Now, I believe these can be quick sold for a uh, candy. I could be wrong. It's going to only be like a fourth of the value. But if you want candy and you don't need the player, it's a decent place to start. But you can get a free 96 and a free 91 and some candy. I'd recommend you start with the solos, guys. In my opinion, with most promos, you always start with the solos. Solos are going to give you coins, level you up a little bit, give you some rewards based around that... Um, the whole promo and more than likely give you a free card or two which is why i recommend you go on ahead and take advantage of these solos before anything else because if you start with other things you're going to be wasting things that maybe you could have gotten from here so get this done first first place to start knock out the solos and then you move on to the rest but as usual guys just figure out if you want one of the masters this is what i always do i play the solos first then i figure out do i want one of the masters or some of the new cards if that's a no you save your coins you spend it on somewhere else in the promo if that's a yes you worry about getting this master done so now for me i personally do want one of the masters now i technically want both of the masters but i was doing some thinking about it and realistically is it economically smart to buy ed uh, ed reed 98 overall when i have pat Tillman 99 overall and troy palomalu chemmed up like 99 overall is it worthwhile to me to buy one that's 98 and now have three strong safeties probably not so i'm gonna stick with barry sanders now for you guys guys i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie ed reed's amazing you want him to go ahead now here's the thing though now that you want a master i recommend you go on ahead and do their sets now, the reason being is that if, if done properly, you can get Ed Reed and a few of the Nat cards for super cheap as well as, well, you, it's just efficient. Like, you guys know the method already. I'm going to make a whole video going over it tomorrow, more than likely, going over all the things I'd recommend you do, going over what you can do to be efficient and potentially get these masks for cheap. I'm going to go over how to get the Nats for cheap, whatever. But let's say here you want Kendall Fuller, but you don't want Ezekiel Ellen and Robert Woods. You, you buy all three of them, you do the set. You quick sell Ezekiel Elliott and Robert Woods, you use the candy to convert it, and then you end up getting Ed Reed and um, Ezekiel Elliott, or Ed Reed and Kendall Fuller for a price similar to what you would have paid for Ed Reed. So you're pretty much just getting like a, a, a cherry on top. You're getting a little bit extra than what you would have gotten for the same face value. But I will go over all that in a separate video, guys. But once you get your solos done, come here. Who do you want? I'm gonna go with Barry personally. I really want Barry. This is the wrong screenshot. I want Barry. So I'm gonna go ahead, probably do a set, get him in today's video, as the, the 1030 video. Go check that one. I'm gonna have him there. So I'm going to be getting him there, so make sure you check that out. But he's looking super solid, going to chem him up. But then once you get your master, you got to move on to the next part, which will be... Next, one, to evaluate the store. Do any of these look valuable to you? If you guys have candy, here's the thing. This promo doesn't look like a promo where you're going to be getting a ton of free candy. It's looking like you're going to have to quick sell players, which I've always found that kind of dumb when you have to like quick sell players to get a player. So like you quick sell 96 to get a 96. Now, it makes sense if you want to re-roll or there's like one that's super rare. Over the time being, I typically stay away from all of these unless I have extra candy. Now, one example would be if you do the berry set, master set, and you quick sell two of the gnats, and you use the candy to make 
him and then you you sell that on the block that's a viable option it is up to you guys personally but for me i'm gonna be focusing on the random egg set this random egg set and the other egg sets are super important to me because the eggs are a, like a christmas hunt and guys i didn't get involved in the christmas one as much so i'm not missing out on this opportunity i'm going to be opening up random egg sets i'm going to be opening up the actual random egg so i might do a video for you guys of doing a random egg pack opening at some point and try to test my luck with the random eggs and see what i what i could pull out of those and then after that probably gonna go ahead and actually open up the set based ones in case i'm missing a few so i'll probably try to fill up my collection of random eggs if things start getting pretty repetitive and like guys in my opinion like if you're opening them and you keep getting small eggs and the same red whatever small egg you're wasting your time now at this point you're better off going over here and buying the ones individually but if the pull rates are good right because i'm pretty sure a full one here is like 20 something thousand so if that's the case, you're and at twenty thousand would be like six to seven of these, depending on if it's twenty four thousand, if it's twenty flat. So if you're getting one at least one out of every six or seven times, you're better off doing it this way because this way you get one grand egg still, and you get some others. If you guys get what I'm saying? Guys, okay, so this is what I was referring to here on the next screenshot: the random small eggs, the random big eggs, random medium eggs, random grand eggs. So grand egg is twenty one thousand. So like I said, if you pull one every like six to seven times out of there, trust me, you're making a value. Even honestly, if you pull one every like. 10 or 12 it's still worth it if you think about it because if you open up 12 of those at three that's 36,000. but if you get one grand egg that's 21,000 worth and you get another like 11 eggs in there that's really not bad let's let's go to even 10 you open up 10 that's 30k there's a 9k difference of extra you're spending here we're getting a grand egg and you're getting like nine other eggs that's still such a value especially like if you get one big egg and one grand egg and then all small eggs you already made your money back with just these two and you make an extra guys i'm telling you test out the random eggs first see the pull rate on that if they're disgusting you can you can get out of it but i would check with that first just before you go on in anything as in this problem we want to focus on the letter hunt and the letter hunt isn't as exciting just yet it's 96 overall player i believe the ltds might even be in there but the way you got to do it is pretty much collecting letters you collect card letters now you can get them from the store now the store does not give you all of them the store will give you like let's say for the word color the store will offer you a c and l and an r that means you got to find the two o's or they'll offer you a c o and an r you have to find the l and the o separately now how do you find them solo challenges uh, maybe they have random letter packs i remains to be seen about that one but i didn't know that you can get them from solos but one of these lucky cannot be done just yet so don't focus on that one focus on bunny bloom and i'm assuming color these these three i'm not as excited about these as the other things which is why i have it further back but lucky could potentially be pretty good but they do have that delayed till like 4 7 which is april 7th so you gotta wait on that one a little bit so don't expect to be doing that one just yet but the color this still could be pretty good you don't know if they could like alternate it like this week or these rewards and then they update them in a few days but it does say 10 15 15 15 so maybe this is just a, how long the promo is going to go and they're not going to update it but i'm holding that hope on this promo as far as these go but as this promo so far i'm thinking is a banger in my opinion we get a free 96 over a player potentially with the egg come we get another 96 over a player then on top of all that we get two amazing masters then we go ahead and get an egg hunt which is like a christmas hunt a christmas presents with clues and stuff guys this hits on all cylinders if they add a house rules and gives us like a free 96 overall player they'll get even better will they do that i'm not entirely sure but guys i sure as hell would like to see something around that and that would be super fun but it remains to be seen. the store letters i was referring to where you could buy some of the letters you cannot buy all of them they do not give you a full set of words you do got to pay for them so remember it's not just like you get them for free but this is not that much you always got to make sure though does it pan out to the value i believe it will because essentially if one letter costs 1,850 for whatever letter this is now each letter is more expensive let's say it costs you like 15,000 to make you probably still get your value back on 96 overall on that now the thing probably doesn't sell for that much but if you had bought it with coins it's probably worth more than what you're paying for it in candy if you guys understand what i'm trying to say so really not that bad guys so that does wrap it up like i said i put it all down for you guys all lined up and i'll head back on to the madden screen it does drop pretty pretty soon because obviously things always take a while but if things drop pretty soon it is going to be pretty exciting to get into all this get my barry sanders and so on and so forth guys remember going ahead player solos masters out see if you want any of those then if you don't want that head on over to the store see what the offers are looking like there check out the eggs always make sure to go on ahead and check out the um scramble hunt as well see what you really like there and make sure to check out the odds on the random egg i'm telling you it could be it could be good could be horrible but we got we got to find out we, we won't know until we try but guys this is about it for the, today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you are new to the channel make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that on new bell boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always i greatly appreciate you guys you still come out every day to watch these videos thank you for that like i said give the video a big thumbs up head on over to twitter if you need any more direct help as far as anything goes DM me on there. And guys, that's pretty much it. Enjoy the rest of today's video. Enjoy today's content day and the stay and play promo and all that. Guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.